Are you tired of your Ubuntu boring terminal and want to make it cool like this over here? Then this video is for you. Just follow these easy and simple steps and you'll be able to customize your Ubuntu terminal. Let's dive in. Go to Start Menu and Open Terminal. Click this arrow over here and launch Ubuntu Terminal. Now you can see that the default Ubuntu Terminal is simple and boring. For adding a banner, we need to install LolCat and Figlet application. But before that, update your Linux by typing the command sudo apt update and hit enter. Now enter your password. After update is complete, run the command. sudo apt install lolcat figlet. This command will install figlet and lolcat for you. To view your banner and terminal, type the command figlet your text, the text that you want to see when terminal is launched. So I will type my channel name, that is fixbyte, and hit enter. You can see that the banner is printed. Now let's make it in the center. Type the previous command by pressing the up arrow key and add dash C at the end and hit enter. Now you can see that the same banner is in the center. So now let's select some stylish font for our banner. In order to view the fonts, type the command and press enter. Now we can see different fonts over here. Select the one you like. So the slant looks good to me, so I will use this font for my banner. Now let's type the command. Figlet dash F slant dash C quotation mark fixbyte quotation mark. This command will show our banner in slant font. So now let's add some colors to the banner. Type the previous command or press up arrow and then add a pipe symbol. Type lolcat and hit enter. Now you can see that our banner looks pretty good. Let's add some additional text in the next line of our main banner. For that, type figlet dash f digital dash c your text pipe symbol lolcat and hit enter. Now let's print both our banners together. For that, type the first command, figlet dash f slant dash c fixbyte pipe symbol lolcat and and figlet dash f digital c solution to the problems pipe symbol lolcat and hit enter. This command will print out both banners together. Now let's add it in our config file. For that, we need to understand how our terminal is loaded whether it is based on Bash or ZSH. Linux Windows subsystem runs on Bash Terminal by default. To know which terminal you are using, type the following command. Echo dollar sign shell. If this prints out Bash, it means we have to make changes in Bash configuration. If in your case it prints out ZSH, then we'll make changes in ZSH configuration. So now let's go make changes in bash configuration. Copy the last command first. Yeah. Type the following command on the screen. The bash config file will be opened. Now let's scroll down to the last line and paste the command. Press Ctrl plus O key and hit Enter to save the file. To exit config file, press Ctrl plus X key. Now let's launch the terminal from start. As you launch the Ubuntu terminal, your custom banner will be displayed at the start. Now let's move towards the second step to make your terminal beautiful and nice. For that, click on the down arrow button over here. Go to settings. Under the profile heading, click on Ubuntu. Now scroll down a bit and click on Appearance. 
This will open Ubuntu Terminal Visual Settings. Scroll down again and go to the Transparency option. Over here, set the background opacity from 70 to 80 percent. You can also enable acrylic material that will create a blur effect at the back of the terminal. For now, I'll leave the acrylic option as off. Now click the Save option. Over here, you can also change the color scheme of your Kali terminal if you want. Press Save again and then close the session. You can see our nice and stylish looking terminal with a transparent background. Now let's move to our third modification. In third modification, we will add a nice background image for our terminal. Click down arrow button over here, go to settings. Select Ubuntu under profile. Scroll down and click appearance. Scroll down and click background image. Then click browse and go and select the image that you want to use as a background. Select all files option over here. Now and select the image that you want to use as a background. Now click save option and then close the settings. Now you can see that we have successfully added some nice background. To make it even more better, let's add some transparency to the background image. Go to Settings again. Click Ubuntu in Profile. Click on Appearance. Scroll down and in Background Image option, keep the opacity of background image from 60 to 70. Then click Save button and close Settings. You can see that we have a nice cool terminal for our Ubuntu. You can also adjust the background opacity that suits you the best. That's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux and cybersecurity content, and drop a comment if you've got questions or want to share your own customizations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.